Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight at Giant Center for a night that will forever be ingrained in the history of this iconic franchise. My name is Zach Fish, the voice here at Hershey Bears, and it's an honor to celebrate one of the best players to ever wear the chocolate and white and to be your MC tonight. Tonight we celebrate a man, his accomplishments are a mile long. He's the all-time leading playoff scorer in Hershey Bears history. On top of that, the only person to win three Calder Cups as a player, the one and only Chris Bork. The banners adorning the giant center rafters high above are a constant reminder of the cherished moments of the past. And they're a constant reminder to anyone that pulls on a Bears sweater, there's a paramount expectation of excellence here. There have been many remarkable players to wear the chocolate and white, and tonight, Chris joins the exclusive club, those that have earned the highest distinction, having their numbers retired by the AHL's most decorated franchise. Prior to tonight, only four numbers have been retired in club history, honoring seven legendary individuals. Tonight, we add to that list. As Chris joins Frank and Ralph, the Big Bear, Coleman and Tukey, Marshall and Lamaru as his number 17 ascends to its rightful place in the rafters tonight, leaving an indelible mark on Chocolate Town and this franchise. We are absolutely thrilled to have members of Chris's family here with us on the ice today. Joining us in the front row is Chris's wife, Kim, and their two children, Kingston and Harlow. In the middle row, Chris's brother and former Hershey Bear, Ryan and his wife, Maria. Chris's sister, Melissa, and her husband, Francois, as well as Chris's mother, Christiane, and Chris's father, Ray. In the back row, Chris's former teammate, Hershey Bears Vice President of Hockey Operations, Brian Helmer. He's joined by Hershey Bears Hall of Famer, Mitch Lamaru, joining Chris here today as a man with his number in the rafters. What a special night we have planned for you here at Giant Center. For nine seasons, Bears fans were treated to a front row seat watching a legend play. Chris Bork is synonymous with the success the Bears enjoyed during his tenure. And the impact he had on Hershey fans, well, it's timeless. As we celebrate his career, please turn your attention to the video board as we look back at some of Chris's finest moments as a member of the Chocolate and White. Number 17, Chris Bork. He'll hold it in. It comes to Chris Bork on the right. He shoots and scores! Chris Bork, he wins it in overtime, and the Bears take game three, and how sweet is that? Blows with it, now winds and fires, he scores! Chris Bork wins it in overtime! He said you felt nothing, why did I feel so broken without you? So many things left unsaid. Coming here and a shot they score and here come the Teddy Bears. For Hershey's a coin, it's a two on one. He's got four from Patrick Cross. He scores! He scores! Chris Bird! Game winning goal! Good morning! Good afternoon! And good night, Manchester! The have taken a two games to none lead in this best of seven Eastern Conference Final. Don't you forget we all need love. 
What memories from number 17. So many moments that Bears fans will never forget. And tonight, we celebrate the man that brought us to our feet so many times before. At this time, it is my honor to welcome the man of the hour, number 17. Put your hands together for Chris Bork. We'll hear from Chris shortly. Before we do that, Chris helped the Bears win so much hardware during his time in Hershey, and thanks to the American Hockey League, we have some of these trophies on display in front of me here tonight. And among those trophies, the Frank S. Mathers Trophy, named after the legendary Bear, who Bork will now join in the Raptors, as well as the McGregor Kilpatrick Trophy and the Richard F. Canning Trophy. And lastly, of course, the most important trophy, the one that matters, the Calder Cup. Bork was part of three championships with the Bears, making him the only Bears player to hoist the Calder Cup three times. He did that in 06, 09, and right here at Giant Center in front of you, 2010. Chris brought so much joy to those watching him play and on his hockey journey, he made quite the impact on those around him. On top of that, well, he made many friends along the way that couldn't be here tonight. So we have a compilation of messages to share now. So please turn your attention to the video board for all those that wanted to pass along their well wishes to Chris Bork. Borky, congrats on Jersey retirement night. That's a great honor, especially in a hockey city like uh, Hershey. Well, having your number retired there is, uh, you know, a pretty uh, big event. Number 17 has a lot of significance. A lot of great number 17s played for the Bears, but none better than you. Couldn't have to be a better guy. Some of the best moments playing hockey was with you and Hershey. You know, I, I know how much this means to you and your family, so enjoy this day. Absolute pleasure playing with you. Couldn't have had a better roommate to, to start professional hockey. You know, those two years are, were the, the two most fun I've had playing hockey in my, my entire career and you, uh, you were a big part of that. Um, so I want to thank you uh, for that. Uh, thank you for these two bad boys that I found as well in my boxes. By the way, thanks for the two rings. I was so glad to be a part of those two. I still look back uh, in my first few years down at Hershey playing with you and I'm so happy I got a chance to. I was lucky enough to be on a power play with you. Obviously you made everyone better. Sitting on the bench after a power play goal, telling me that I don't pass you the puck enough. To this day, I have never met somebody who wants to win more than you do. Whether it's late night mini sticks or making a long playoff run, without a doubt, your competitiveness is one of the reasons why you've had such a successful career. Uh, tonight, I congratulate you. Uh, you are one of the greatest players to ever play in the American Hockey League, and you're one of the greatest players to ever play in the historic Hershey Bears franchise. I just want to say thank you for a couple things as well. I want to say thank you for letting me know how long marshmallow fluff lasts on the counter before it goes rock solid. I want to say thank you for teaching me that if somebody misses the dartboard with a dart, you can charge them a case of beer. And third, that it actually makes you more mature if you don't laugh and smile all the time. Very valuable lessons. I think the one that stands out for me is, is that time that you, uh, you smiled at me. The first time you actually smiled, after we won the Calder Cup and he was named Calder Cup MVP. I, I swore I saw him smile for the first time. Uh, you were a great player, great teammate, but uh, for me you were more, uh, more of a big brother and a great friend. So uh, thank you, enjoy your night, and uh, we'll see you soon, Chris. Love you, buddy. So many wonderful people there and so many great words about a true legend. This time we invite Chris's former teammate, Bears defender Aaron Ness, as well as Bears forward Beck Malenstein to present flowers to Chris's wife, Kim, Chris's sister, Melissa, Chris's sister-in-law, Maria, Chris's mother, Christiane. Thank you all 
for your wonderful support and sacrifices during Chris's career. Now we welcome to join us the last Hershey Bear to wear the number 17, Ford Mike Scarbosa, who present Chris and his children, Kingston and Harlow, number 17, Chris Bork Hershey Bears jerseys. Also presenting Chris a gift on behalf of the Hershey Bears is Bears captain Dylan McElrath, who is a former teammate of Chris's. As we are here in the sweetest place on earth, Dylan will join us to present a customized five pound chocolate bar to celebrate the occasion. Lastly, on behalf of the Hershey Bears organization and Hershey Entertainment Resorts, Brian Helmer and Mitch Lamru would like to extend a special gift to Chris that celebrates his career. Come right up front, Chris. Unveil what we have for you here. <laughs> Presented to Chris is a commemorative hand-painted jersey the Bears sweater features Bork's number 17 in a custom painting of him winning the Calder Cup in 2010 as produced by Mark Cunnell Fine Art. I've spoken a lot here today, and while I enjoyed getting to call Chris's games and many of his goals in my time here in Hershey, I felt there was no one better to introduce our distinguished guest of honor tonight than Chris's best friend. So please welcome his brother and former Hershey Bears teammate to introduce Chris Bork, the one and only Ryan Bork. Good evening, Bears family. It's great to be here in Hershey to honor my mentor, my best friend, my brother, Chris. Growing up with Chris as my older brother shaped my identity. He challenged me, he inspired me, he messed with me a lot. I am, fi I am five years younger than Chris. But every day, I was trying to keep up with him. After school, we'd battle in the backyard in whatever sport we were playing. And as Bears fans know, Chris is the most competitive person I've ever encountered. I don't think I beat him in anything for the first 12 years of my life. Chris loves to win, and he did a lot of that in Hershey. Chris eats, sleeps, and breathes hockey. Since he was out of the womb, he was holding a hockey stick. I think the fans here will agree, Chris was blessed with a skill set that made him so excited to watch on the ice. He was a dual threat, but man, did he love to score. Everyone loves scoring, but some guys you can just see it in their face and in their eyes, how much it means to score. Chris was one of those guys. Both Chris and his career inspired me. In my younger days, I was in my dad's locker rooms. As I got older, I was visiting Hershey as Chris began his career. I got to see him live out his dream, and right away, he came here to Hershey and got to hoist the Calder Cup. Chris and the Bears had an amazing run of success that is forever ingrained in history. I was lucky enough to play here with Chris for a year and a half. I came to the Bears in 2016, and Chris was the engine that drove that team. It was such a great group. We went on an amazing run and fell just short, but getting to go to the rink with my brother every day in the ultimate hockey market here in Hershey, I'll always cherish. 
Chris is my best friend, and as a person, I can't say enough about him. He's genuine, he's authentic, he's taught me how to be a pro, how to be a great husband and a great father, and how to be a man that you can count on. He's my role model, and I'm so lucky to have him. His wife, Kim, and his two amazing kids, Kingston and Harlow. I couldn't be more proud and honored to celebrate my brother's illustrious career. So with immense pride and honor, please welcome the man of the hour and one of the greatest players to ever wear the chocolate and white, my brother, Chris Bork. Good evening, and thank you for being here tonight. Hershey has always held a special place in my heart, and this is a first-class organization with a rich history. So to have my number hanging alongside so many legends that came before me is an honor. I would like to start by thanking everyone involved in putting this evening together. Thank you to the Bears, Brian Helmer, Hershey Entertainment and Resorts, Great Save Productions, and all the people behind the scenes. I'd also like to thank the Toronto Maple Leafs for all their support, allowing me to be here tonight, and for offering me a chance to stay involved in the game I love. To all involved, thank you for making this a night that me and my family will never forget. There were so many good times in Hershey. I came here in 2005 as a 19-year-old kid straight out of Boston University. But, but it was a bit of a culture shock coming to a small town like Hershey, but I quickly learned just how special this place is. We had a good team my rookie year with a lot of young guys like Eric Fair and Mike Green. A strong mix of older veterans also really helped this young kid learn to be a pro. I was fortunate to win the Calder Cup that first year in 2006. That year started a 10 year or so spurt, having the, best being, having the Bears being a dominant team in the AHL and having the Calder Cup runs we did. We lost in the finals the next year, but I started to get my feet under me and play the game at a high level. Winning back-to-back -back Calder Cups in 2009 and 2010 were some of the biggest highlights of my career. I was in Pittsburgh at the start of the 2009-10 season, but once I got to Hershey mid-season, I was coming back to a team that was just loaded with talent. From Alex Chiru to Keith the Coin to great young players like Jay Beagle, Andrew Gordon, John Carlson, and Carl Alsner, plus our goalies too. It was just a stacked team. Winning 60 games that year and raising the Calder Cup in front of 11,000 screaming fans was a moment I'll cherish forever. As a player, you don't really realize how special of a group of guys you have while you're in the moment. Looking back, it was an unbelievable time. We had a lot of fun on the ice, and we had a lot of fun off the ice too. The best years of my life were playing in Hershey. So to all my former teammates in attendance, and to all those who couldn't be here, thank you. What makes Hershey so special are the fans. 
There were so many nights where the fans helped amp us up and give us that home ice advantage. I'll say, it's nice to hear the cheers again, because last time I was here, you guys were booing me. <laughs> the passion of the Bears fan is second to none. As an opponent, wanting to play well in a special place like Hershey always gave me a little extra motivation. That said, to be back here as a Bear in front of the best fans in the AHL, that feels right. That's the way it should be. A big round of applause for the fans for your support over the years and being a joy to play in front of. I want to give a shout out to my longest tenured teammate in Hershey, Dan the Beaker Stuck. <laughs> Beak made it easy to come to the rink, put a smile on your face, and made you laugh. I cannot thank him enough. I'll value my relationship with him for the rest of my life. <laughs> Also, thanks to Doug Yanks for taking me under his wing and for all he did for me during my many years in Hershey. I returned to Hershey later in my career, and one of my favorite years in hockey was 2015-16 when we went to the finals. We had such a tight group. We had a great relationship with the coaches, and on the ice, it was a special group. From Zach Sill to Garrett Mitchell to Eric Bergdorfer and Aaron Ness. Two good goalies, younger guys like Nathan Walker, Riley Barber, and Chandler Stevenson. That team meshed well, and even though we didn't win, it was a legendary run. Most of all, having my brother, Ryan, traded to Hershey and being able to go on that cup run with my brother on my side and having my wife and two kids there was the pinnacle of hockey for me. That brings, me to, that brings me to thanking the most important people in my life, my family. My dad, Ray, had a huge influence on me, and it made... <clears throat> and made it very easy to fall in love with the game of hockey. Seeing him hoist the Stanley Cup as a kid is one of the proudest moments of my life. My mom, Christiane, did so much for me and my family, from dri driving me to the rink all those years to little things behind the scenes that made our life so great growing up. My sister, Melissa, has always been my biggest fan, and I'm lucky to have her in my life. Playing with my brother, Ryan, has always been one of the greatest joys I had professionally. To my family, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for everything. <laughs> to my wife, Kim, and our two wonderful children, Kingston and Arlo, there was no better treat than looking into the crowd and seeing you at my games. Kim is my rock. I met her at hockey camp when I was 12, and every time she was in the stands, it always gave me a boost. That never went away, and until the day I retired, I was always trying to impress her. She followed me all over the world to places like Russia, Switzerland, Germany, and of course, right here in Hershey. I feel like the luckiest man on the face of the earth with her by my side. For all the sacrifices you made for me, I cannot thank you enough for being truly my better half. I love you. <laughs> Kim is also the best mom to our kids, who are the biggest joys in my life. Having them around the rink made it easy for me to keep living my dream of being a pro hockey player. The early years of their, of their lives featured a lot of moving, 
leaving friends behind, and going to school in Germany. They've learned so many valuable life lessons, and I love being their dad. Now the roles are reversed, and I'll be spending more time at their games and events, being their biggest fan. I've had so many nights in Hershey that will be with me forever. Tonight is one of those nights. To all the legendary players like Mitch Lamoureux, thank you for paving the way for players like myself. To all the, player, to all the current members of the Bears, wear the chocolate and white with pride. Thanks again to everyone here tonight, and thank you for being an exceptional part of my life. To be here with my family tonight and experience this with them is amazing. Hershey was the most important place in my career, and it will always have a special place in my heart. Thank you. What a legend, what an icon, and truly a player that we were blessed to watch. One more time, let's hear it for Chris Bork, ladies and gentlemen. We now invite Chris, his wife Kim, as well as his children, Kingston Harlow. They can go on overhead and join us for the banner raising momentarily. There will never be another Chris Bork, and now there will never be another Hershey Bear to wear the uniform number 17 ever again. Joining a club of legends and taking his rightful place in the Giant Center Rafters, it's now time to make Chris Bork our forever number 17. What an evening, and we still got a hockey game to play. Thank you for joining us, and one more time, let's hear it for our forever number 17, Chris Bork.
Thank you once again for being here tonight. We got hockey coming up in just a couple minutes. Warm-ups are around the corner. Bears and Springfield Thunderbirds, but a special night to be with you here. That concludes our ceremony. What a legend, what an icon. So glad to have you with us as we do something we haven't done since 2002, retire a number to the rafters here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, how about one more final hand for Chris Bork?